Hi everybody, we are today in the TV studio of the Solar Butterfly directly filming here in Narvik, the northern of Norway. Narvik is, uh, has a big port and this is why the topic of the day will be the boats. Boats producing worldwide 2.5% of the green gas, uh, greenhouse gases. And I have with me in the TV studio Rune, Rune Carlson. You are the project manager by Teco 2030 for the plant of Narvik. Thank you for being today with me. Thank you, Frederick. And uh, Teco 2030, you do already have solutions for the topic that I mentioned at the beginning of, of my uh, introductions. What are the solutions or what are the plans? Yes, so uh, Teco 2030 comes from Teco Maritime Group. And Teco Maritime Group has uh, approximately 30 years of experience in the maritime industry. Teco 2030 is the clean tech company in, in the Teco. And uh, we are developing and offering solutions for the maritime industry. Among these is the uh, hydrogen fuel cell systems. So hydrogen fuel cell systems is a way to, uh, to um, exchange the diesel engines and put in a fuel cell system using hydrogen as a fuel producing electricity and without any CO2 emission. So green hydrogen. Definitely. Yeah. And when you say you have the solution, it's solution worldwide. Yes, we are offering uh, for the maritime market mainly and but also for other heavy duty applications or fuel cell systems. So um, together with uh, AVL or uh, Austrian powertrain technology partner, we have developed uh, a hydrogen fuel cell system which is efficient, robust and compact. And with that we, we will <coughs> uh, start uh, building uh, fuel cell modules here in Norway. So in Norway we are putting up the first uh, first European gigafactory for hydrogen pen fuel cells. Speaking about Narvik, I know that the headquarters is in Oslo. Why Narvik? Well, it's an it's a interesting story. Uh, Teco 2030 was looking for uh, premises where they could uh, build a, a plant, but then they got some attention from Narvik where they, they were contacted saying that, hey, in Narvik we do have the infrastructure we have uh, the harbor, we have the train, and we also uh, have a large empty industry building, very suitable for your purpose. And by, by uh, investigating more from the techo side, they found that this was a, a, a really good spot. Both uh, the reception they got from the local community, uh, the collaboration that is introduced with the local university, the University of Tromsø, Campus Narvik, and, um, and also the experience from production uh, that we have here in Narvik was, was uh, part of what, what uh, the boxes were ticked off. Perfect, so infrastructure, uh, competences, people, everything here. This is why Narvik has been chosen. I see on the picture here a very nice boat. So this is a real one, right? No, this is an illustration uh, that we, we use in some of our presentations. Very nice illustration. I thought it was uh, real. So when will I see such a real one, the first boat with uh, zero emission yeah. with your technology? So we are uh, preparing now the production for serial production of our FCM 400 uh, modules, which is, uh, gives uh, a 400 kilowatt uh, power. Uh, this is a production line uh, which we will establish after summer next year. So, <coughs> uh, by 20, uh, in 2024, we will have a capacity of producing 120 megawatts uh, capacity of fuel cell modules. And that, uh, you can say it, it, it equals, let's say, uh, 1200 passenger cars. But uh, in parallel with building up the, the plant in Norway, we also have some uh, 
introducing uh, or, or the first projects coming on already in 2023. So in quarter three in, in uh, 2023 we will have the first uh, implementations. Among these is, is um, a project with, with Chemgas which uh, is called uh, Green Hydrogen on uh, Blue Danube. Uh, where there are a production facility of green hydrogen in Romania transporting uh, hydrogen into Europe uh, on the Danube River uh, into Austria and Germany ports. So this is a pilot project? It's a pilot project uh, but, but uh, it, it, uh, it is within the frame agreement we have. In addition we have a, a project with uh, the local harbour here in Norway. Um, so the local harbour have decided we want uh, zero emission uh, workboat, high speed, also uh, enabling for, for passenger transport. And we, so there's a, a cooperation project together uh, with them and, and other, um, uh, other uh, companies, uh, uh, including also the, the local university here. So the boat will be built uh, less than one hour from, from Norway. Oh, nice projects. Um, what are the challenges? Uh, they are probably big challenges well, of course, uh, in such a big project like this, there is always uh, different uh, challenges. Um, but I think we are in a good state. We are uh, according to, to our plans. Uh, but of course, uh, as you know, there's a quite tense global uh, situation uh, currently. And um, for us, it has been important to secure uh, the supply of components to uh, the, the production. Uh, so we have put in a lot of resources to secure and, and have uh, good supply agreements with, with the critical uh, suppliers. Uh, <clears throat> in addition, there will of course be a, a challenge in, in terms of getting uh, the right and uh, uh, enough high uh, qualified competent people into the, the organization. But uh, also there we, we have seen that we have um, received a lot of uh, attention I think uh, a lot of people want to contribute uh, with a green uh, future industry oh, yes. um, and, and also the reception here locally has been, been very good so, so uh, I think we are in a good state in that. In parallel also we, we do see that uh, of course hydrogen needs to be um, available uh, so, so it's important that in parallel with, with uh, our uh, initiatives we need to have um, uh, others taking care of the, the um, hydrogen production and, and infrastructure so it enables our customers to to fill the the, uh, the fuel cells if we see this picture again the future what do you think will it be possible to have all the whole fleet of the whole world being running on zero emission of course, this is a, this is a long term, term target, uh, and it, it's in principle it, it should be possible, uh, but uh, it, it requires a lot of uh, players, not only uh, tech, yes. but, but also different uh, other uh, equal uh, initiatives. In addition, um, of course, uh, governments, politicians need to push this, make the right decisions to enable for this change. Yeah. Thank you very much for the interview today, Rune. Is there something you want to tell the audience, the last word? Well, uh, just uh, grateful to, to, uh, to have the chance to, to talk to you. It has been nice. Uh, if you want more information about uh, fuel cells of uh, uh, Teco2030, please visit our website, teco2030.no. .no. Thank you very much, Rune Carlson. We were directly here filming from Navic. Thank you very much for listening. If you want more information, go on www.solarbutterfly.org and or visit us on the social media. Thank you.